Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage Gal 18. So it's that time again to start signing up for swaps over at yourpaperpantry.ning.com. I am the hostess for the flower section and there are so many different swaps you could choose from and challenges. Um, if you're not much for swapping or you might be an international um, crafter and don't want to do too much of the swapping but do want to enter in the challenges, go on over. There's a ton of challenges going on. A lot of swapping um, happening as well so right now what I am doing for this month which is uh, coming into spring so it opens up on February 25th and the signups close up on March 5th and then you have um, from March 5th through the 25th of March okay so then you have until the 25th of March uh, to send out your um, items depending if it's a one-to-one -one swap or if the hostess is to receive it and then distribute um, the swaps as they go so um, I think I covered pretty much but if you want to get more information again just go over to your yourpaperpantry.ning.com and you'll get all the information depending on the swap that's happening or challenge so I am doing rosettes and um, I know last year about the same time I did rosettes, it's funny, but I think rosettes are very popular, especially in the springtime. I'm not sure why, but this time around I'm seeing the rosettes uh, being built on. So there's, it's not just, you know, one or two layers. Now three, four layers make the rosette even more prettier, what I think. So um, one of the requirements for the rosette swap is to create four so you're going to pick your four another thing is to make them like to start off it should be like a um, two inch by 12 inch so meaning this is going to be the 12 inches long and then this is going to be the two inches wide so when you start scoring them the scoring is going to be here then you're going to fold them and then of course it here um, I have more um, more details on that on a video that I'm going to leave the link down below. So if you don't know how to create these rosettes, I'll leave the link down below so you can view that video. But pretty much it's just using a 12 inch long um, paper and the width has to be 2 inches. The next thing, um, it doesn't mean that this has to stay at a 2 inch. I'm not even sure. Let's see where this is at. Um... So let's go with just a single one without the backing. So that one right there obviously is a two inch, but doesn't mean it has to stay at a two inch. So if you want to add more to it, it's going to go that one's about a two and a half. So we can continue growing depending on what you want to add to your rosette. Um, I just want to stick to the two inch so you can build on that. Um, so that's that part. Okay, next on the embellishing. When I say um two or more embellishments meaning this is one and this is two and of course i had three four so these are four embellishments in total so that's good so i want more than just i want two or more so this is one two and that's it so that's a good one too you could leave it like that um this one also would be considered an embellishment so you do one two three four so that's four embellishments so depending on what you want to add onto your rosette as long as there's two or more embellishments you're good to go um the other thing i put keep it spring so i want bright colors um you know the blues the pinks you could do brights like these or you could do pastels or you can even do whites with um nice little printed color there and of course this one i would just need maybe like a backing of some sort to make it my two embellishments because this one just has one embellishment so i'd add another one and that would be two embellishments so see that would that's a simple one but it's still really really cute so as much as embellishments you want to place on it it's good um anything else I think that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, go to yourpaperpantry.name.com and I will answer anything there. And that's it, guys. So come on over and swap with us and have fun. Thanks. Bye.